Michael Coates. Our old pal, patchy freezing fog returning with us here, and it's going to pretty much be a factor in our forecast for the rest of the work week. It's not until Friday or Saturday we can actually start to shake up the weather pattern with, unfortunately, more snow. If you have travel plans this weekend, could get a bit messy on Saturday. Friday night, we'll start to see more snow coming through. We could get also some light snow from the fog. Take a look at the Blackfoot time lapse camera at the airport. We even saw a little bit of that light snow from that low hanging cloud cover and fog. And then we had a partly to mostly cloudy sky. There was the blue for just a minute before more fog and cloud cover building back in for the evening. And right now, sound the foghorn in Pocatello. Yeah, thick fog has rolled in. Earlier at 6 o'clock, it was pretty clear, but we're going to have this patchy fog off and on all night long. 13 degrees at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Camp. Light winds, high humidity, the perfect recipe for the fog. And let me zoom it out way and show you that we are looking at high pressure anchored right overhead here for the next few days with stormy weather going up and around us, Washington, northern Idaho, and Montana. You look out here, yeah, it looks threatening, but that high pressure is going to hold steady until Friday, and then we'll work in some of this moisture by the weekend. There is a chance, just a slight chance, that some of our viewers near the Montana border could see a bit of some snow over the next couple of days. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy conditions. Once you break free of the fog, you're looking to bring in some sunshine here throughout the uh, over day, well, through the, I would say the late morning and early afternoon hours tomorrow, we could work in some sunshine, uh, but it's going to be short lived because the fog is going to try to roll back in here for tomorrow night heading into Wednesday. Now, let's zoom it out on the Vipercast. We'll go through tomorrow and Wednesday, and I want to stop at Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. This is the chance of snow I just mentioned, and this is going to start to creep in a little bit closer. You folks in Salmon, you're going to be seeing a chance of snow here Wednesday morning. Island Park, West Yellowstone, Montana, also getting a slight chance of snow. But that snow, for the most part, is just going to hang out here in western Montana for a couple of days. And then we start working on our snow as we head into Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. We're just going to be dealing with this gloomy sky off and on here in that low hanging cloud covered fog with a partly cloudy sky. So, fog and flurries tonight. Temperature staying cold for the rest of the work week. Again, it's not really until we get into the Friday, Saturday period. We start to pick up those numbers just a touch, and I'm looking at that weekend winter storm coming through with more accumulating snow. Tonight, we're heading back into the lower teens for many spot locations. We're hitting around 11 tonight in Idaho Falls, 12 for Rigby, hitting highs tomorrow, 26 tomorrow for IF and Rigby. 13 tonight, Blackfoot high of 29 tomorrow, lower 30s for the high tomorrow in Pocatello, just barely above freezing. And I'm going to go with a minus 1 in Arco, going to a minus 2 in Mackey, 5 in Salmon, and 0 tonight in Chalice with a minus 8 in Stanley. We'll hit a lot of 20s tomorrow afternoon. We'll be looking around a 6 in Island Park, 0 tonight. Goose Egg in Jackson Hole with 21 for the high tomorrow, 22 in Dubois, and around the upper 20s in Lava Hot Springs, 28 in Preston. Here's your 8-day. Going forward, pretty much the same forecast through Thursday. By Friday, we start to shake things up a bit. Winds pick up. Scattered snow on the way here late Friday through Saturday and Sunday. We may get another couple of inches on the ground in Idaho Falls Saturday morning. Temperatures will get a little warmer on Friday, the warm before the storm. What's happening here? We warm up ahead of the cold front. Once the cold front passes into next week, temperatures once again take a dive. Pocatello 33 for tomorrow, 34 on Wednesday. Pocatello, we're going all the way up to 41 for Friday. Then the temperatures take a dive heading into next week on the back side of the weekend storm. It seems like we're repeating the same cycle over and over again. Rexburg 28 for Wednesday, warming just a little bit on Friday before the numbers come back down into the 20s for Monday and Tuesday of next week there. And we may get about a 1 to 3 inches in Rexburg for Saturday. Blackfoot highs here around 31 for Wednesday, a mix of rain and snow late Friday. Snow showers coming through on Saturday, bringing in a chance of the white stuff through Sunday. Salmon, you're also bringing in a chance of snow this weekend, but salmon's going to be dealing with some fog in the morning, some sunshine in the afternoon, and then a return of fog at night. Scattered snow showers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, Saturday looking to be the worst day for travel. Jackson Hole, the National Park, Silent Park, getting some fresh powder. Folks are going to be heading up to the slopes and the ski hills. We're looking to bring in some snow Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday all weekend long. Back to Carol and Jay. All right. Thank you, Michael. Coming up on Newsline tonight, uh, more on the Dior Coons case.